So I, I want to understand something about, about the state of power grids in America. You tried to build a power grid. It didn't work. Um, it's it's going to work. It's got to work. Our piece has not yet worked. We've not yet worked. But it, it seems to me that we are spending an enormous amount of time and energy thinking about how to uh, restructure the energy world and we think that there, we need to get to new technologies and all sorts of other things. You say that that's not true at all, that this is not about technology. Yeah, we've that got That all of this already exists. We've got it. And, I, and that's the part that I don't think the public understood that I definitely didn't understand before I read this book. So we've got this grid that we built to do a certain thing, and it was basically built around cities, and we had coal plants and gas plants and nukes fairly close to cities. And now we've got these resources spread out across the country, and... Wind, wind and solar, solar and everything and else. And the job is, if we want to tap these resources, we got to build the grid to go with that. But you, but you, but but go, get to the t the technology piece. I, I've always thought, so, or at least th there's always been a big issue about battery. T is it battery technology? How do you store it? How do you how do you move it across the country? How do you attach different grids that aren't currently attached? Yeah, we know how to do all these things. Okay, and we know how to generate electricity really, really cheaply. We can generate solar for two and a half cents. We can generate wind for two and a half cents. These are numbers without tax credits, okay? So we know how to do this. We just need the grid to get it to where people are. And so when you started this project, yeah. what, ins what inspired you to look into this issue? Why him? Why this story? What were you trying to get at? Well, I had read several books about climate change. And I found them all incredibly depressing because you read them and you sort of think to yourself, oh my God, there's nothing we can do. I wanted to set out and write a book about what I think is going to be one of the most important parts of this energy transition, and that's investment. We have billions and trillions of dollars worth of wind farms and solar farms and transmission that needs to be built. built. So I wanted to write about who's out there doing it, who's making these right. investments. And part of it, though, was not even, a, to, to me, what was so interesting was your argument was almost, it can't even be, a, be about climate, it has to be it's effectively about business. About it's, business. About business. It's, it's an absolutely. investment story. Yeah. Right. It's an investment story. And so the question is, to make the investment, what, is it, what does it actually take? Well, to make the investment, how much money I mean, are we talk? How much money are we talking about? How much technology are we talking about? What about the states having to get? I mean, sort of walk us through what actually has to happen here. Yeah, yeah. So, it, building the grid is about planning, uh, permitting, and paying for it. And we know how to plan it. We've got all these really smart people all over the country who know how to who know how to plan it. We got to permit it. That's the hard part. Okay. And we have a set of fairly antiquated laws that haven't kept up with these exciting developments on the generation side. But you guys talk a lot about the, I mean, you, you write about you're involved in the politics of this, yes. that you think that you're being blocked in so many cases by political people for political reasons. Yeah, so unfortunately, we've gotten ourselves in this fix in this country where, where and all energy things have become political and not economic. If they're economic, renewables are going to win, okay? But if, what, if we, when we get that... Uh, renewables back, are going to win, not again, though, not on because... Cost. On the cost. Yeah, yeah. Because you can bring the cost down to... To, you know, again, two, two and a half cents a kilowatt hour, if that makes sense. Is this only in places where the sun really uh, the, is bright this or where is, the wind blows well, a lot? Or? Even better solar locations, it'll be a little bit less. Um, worse wind locations, a little bit more. But it's all sort of in the hunt of well under five cents a kilowatt hour. And it's those prices. natural gas? No. And if you're going to generate uh, electric power with natural gas, just the gas component alone yeah. is about two and a half cents. Okay.